Hey awesome VIPs, welcome. I know it's a little bit late for breakfast, but this is what I'm eating because I already went out for an appointment with Brady today. So I'm starving. I did not get a chance to eat because I was rushing. But of course I am showing again another recipe for our uh, breakfast sandwich maker. This thing is so awesome. You can actually even do four or five scrambled eggs in here, four to five poached eggs in here just by itself. But I love that I can make a quick breakfast sandwich. How many of you guys stop and eat fast food on your way into work or grab something on your way into work because you're in a rush? Well, one, it's not very healthy. Two, you're spending a lot of money. So why not buy this instead and get it done? And you can take it on the go even. Or you can even take this to work with you and put stuff in the, in the work fridge and just make it when you get there. Literally like two minutes and you're done with breakfast. So let me show you what I'm going to do here. So it has several elements. You've got the ceramic part and it also reminds you in here to make sure you crack that yolk and make sure you break the yolk in here so that it doesn't pop or um, kind of explode um, in the ceramic part. You have a container here for the meat and then a container for whatever bread. The last video I showed you guys, I made a breakfast burrito with bacon and scrambled eggs and cheese and just put a pita, um, put a tortilla in the top and it was super yummy. So let me show you what to do real quick. Obviously you take an egg and you're gonna crack that egg. Okay, right down in there. Now you can use, let me grab my seasonings. Sorry, I thought I had everything together. I'm gonna put just a touch of salt in mine and a touch of pepper. But the awesome thing about this is we have tons of Pampered Chef seasonings. Check them out on our website. Um, I like garlic and herb. I like smoky applewood bacon uh, or smoky barbecue. And I like, um, what else? Oh, the Southwestern or uh, seasoning is good in this. So you can make all kinds of versions of the eggs. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to put in just a little bit of seasoning in that. Okay. And then... I am going to break my yolk and I'm actually going to scramble mine up a little bit. Mix it up in here with my stainless whisk. So easy to use. Okay, and that's all you do for the egg. And first what I will do is I'm going to go ahead and put this just by itself in the microwave for probably... I'm going to do a minute to a minute and a half for one egg. And it depends on your microwave and the heat. So give me one second, I'll show you what it's gonna look like. Okay guys, I did that for a minute and a half. I'm gonna check it out and look. You do wanna use the micro grips or something to pull it out because it does get pretty hot. So be careful when you're touching it. These are super amazing, they're like $8. I also use them when I'm making stuffed pasta shells and I'll put the shells here and then stuff it so I'm not burning the fingertips. So let me go ahead and check. I think it's okay now. I'll let it cool for a second. It's a little warm still to the edge. I'm going to show you what this egg looks like in here. Look at that. That is amazing. It's going to be perfect for my sandwich. So now all I have to do is warm up the meat and the croissant that I'm using. So today I am just using some honey ham. I want a ham and cheese sandwich, ham and egg cheese. So I'm going to use some honey ham. And just to warm it up, I'm going to put some ham right up top here. Okay. So that's all you got to do is just put whatever meat, bacon, ham, sausage, um, whatever you want on top. I did use my coated bread knife that's awesome to slice up my croissant that fits perfectly in here as well. So I'm going to put the other lid on top. I'm going to put my croissant here so it's going to even be warm and gooey just like when you purchase it from the store or from the fast food chains that you're stopping at and 30 seconds okay and while that's going I want to tell you that then I'm going to top it with a piece of Swiss cheese it's going to be super yummy also um, I want to let you know some other recipes I can post later for it. Um, you can even make uh, personal fajitas in it. Put some shredded chicken and cheese and bell pepper and onion at the bottom of this and put your tortilla up top and you can make a miniature fajita. 
you can make um, individual portions of pretty much anything in it. So it's pretty awesome. Let's check it out here. Oh, this croissant is nice and warm and gooey. I don't know if you can see the steam rising off of it. Okay, I'm going to take and dump my ham on this side. It's pretty warm. It's going to be so good. I'm actually going to put the cheese right in between so the ham can get it all warm and gooey. And I'm going to dump the... Oh, let me get my... Make sure it's all coming off. Oh, it slides right out. It just was stuck on a corner. Done. Did you see that pop out like that? Look, it fits perfect. Perfect, perfect. And then I'm going to top it with my ham and cheese. Does that not look delicious? Look, ham, egg, and cheese croissant. Oh, so yummy. I hope you enjoy it.